In this video, we're going to look at metric and imperial units. I'm going to give you some examples for metric and imperial units to measure lengths, to measure capacity, and to measure the mass of an object. It's very important you know the difference between metric and imperial units because you may go traveling in the future and in the UK if you've seen this sign saying 20, it would be 20 miles per hour. But if you've seen this sign in Europe, 110, that means 110 kilometers per hour. It would be very silly to do 110 miles per hour if you've seen this sign. So you need to know the difference between both of them. Um, now depending on which country you're in will depend on which type of units you use. In the UK, Northern Ireland, America, Australia, countries that may have had a British influence, we will use either imperial units or a mixture of both. In continental Europe, Ireland, um, most of the countries in the world really, they will use metric units. So for instance, Lionel Messi, his weight is given as 67 kilograms on the Barcelona website. Uh, that's obviously because Barcelona is in Europe, they're going to measure him in kilograms. Yet in the UK, we would probably give his, um, his weight as stones and pounds. Also, the height of someone in you know the UK and um, America and so on, Barack Obama, six foot one, we would give his head a six foot one inch, uh, six foot one inches. Uh, whereas in Europe, they probably say he's 1.85 meters. So it's very important you can identify which one's which, and in the later videos that I do, you'll be able to see how to convert between each of them. So let's have a look at length. So imperial, this would be countries such as the UK, um, America, Australia, so on. These are measurements they may use. Now, actually, we use a mixture of both in the UK. Um, Driving is very confusing. Some of them we give yards, but also as the heights of bridges and so on, we also sometimes give meters. Uh, so it's important we can see which one's which. In, again, metric, that would be le metric. Uh, you're going to see that you use that mainly in Europe and other countries around the world. So here we've got a credit card. The credit card is one millimeter thick. So that's the thickness of that credit card, one millimeter. So metric unit for that would be a millimeter. Uh, on your ruler, you will see that you've got centimeters. So you would measure maybe the length of a book, or the length of a table in centimeters. You've also got the smaller millimeters on the ruler as well. So centimeters is another um, a metric unit for measuring the length of an object, perhaps a quite a small object. Then you've got meters. Meters are for larger objects. You can see here, um, measuring the height of a classroom in meters, a door is two meters high. Uh, running tracks are also measured in meters, the 100 meter sprint, obviously that's in meters. Um, the whole running track is 400 meters around or around our lap. And very large distances, perhaps the circumference of the earth or uh, the distance between cities will be given in kilometers. So that's km. Meters is m, centimeters is cm, millimeters is mm. And these, uh, these are used in, again, so uh, across Europe, but also we will use uh, some of them, 100 meters, we use that in England as well. But in this country, we will also use inches. So perhaps the length of a book in inches. Feet, that would be your height um, in the UK. Um, yards, um, the length of football pitch or length of American football pitch may be given them uh, yards and distance between cities is miles. Okay, let's then have a look at the mass of an object. So again, in this country, uh, we may uh, use some of these units, um, but in Europe, they would tend not to use them. Ounces, so I know, for instance, a lot of uh, grandmothers and grandfathers, whenever they're cooking, will refer to things as ounces. I tend to use grams. Uh, pounds, that would be uh, larger objects. In America, I know they give the weights of people as pounds. Uh, stones, uh, we give our weights as stones in the UK. And tons, notice the spelling T-O-N-S, that would be very large objects you give us tons. The metric uh, versions of those would be grams, so small objects such as paperclip is one gram. A kilogram, well that's like a large book, would be about a kilogram. And a metric ton, T-O-N-N-E-S, uh, that would be maybe a Mini Cooper's 1.2 tons. So that would be for very large objects. Okay. Uh, let's have a look then finally at some capacity. So capacity would be perhaps if you're measuring um, how many, how much liquid fits into a container, that type of thing, how much space is inside the object. So um, you have got uh, Imperial again in the UK, America, um, Australia, those types of countries with British influence. You may use some of these. Fluid ounces used to be a lot, I used a lot for cooking. Um, though again, now I tend to use milliliters. Uh, pints, well we do use pints, a pint of milk and so on. Um, a pint of beer, uh, gallons. Whenever I went to America, you would use you know those gallons of milk, uh, gallons of petrol, that or gasoline, uh, that type of thing. So again, imperial are um, those are some examples. The metric systems are the ones you may be using a lot in your maths exams. Maybe stuff like milliliters.
centimeters. So, um, and we do use that here as well, stuff like a teaspoon of uh, medicine, five milliliters, um, or a bottle of Coke, 500 milliliters, and that's a small bottle, or a can, 330 milliliters. Centiliters tends to be used on bottles of wine, or if you were to go to Europe and get a can of Coke, you may see it says 33 centiliters. Uh, liters, we use a lot of liters in this country, um, two liters of uh, Pepsi or Coke, um, a liter of milk, that type of thing, two liters of milk. Um, and cubic meters, they're used for very large objects, perhaps swimming pools, uh, that type of thing. Um, here we've got a skip, the skip holds three uh, cubic meters, and a cubic meter is a thousand liters. So this holds three thousand liters, or it's three cubic meters, so it's for very large objects. Okay, so there are some examples of imperial and metric units. Again, imperial we use in these in this country, in um, America, those types of countries. In um, the metric system, again, most other countries across the world, um, Euro.